Hello children, welcome to the online class of science. Today we are going to do the part 6 of this lesson force, work and energy. In the last part we discussed about the sources of energy and we also discussed the sun, wind and water and energy in the detail. Today we will discuss about the fuel. Fuels are the things which when burn they give the energy, give us the energy. The, the energy is stored in these fuels, these things which when burn they produce energy. For example, the fuels like coal, okay, coal, gas, petrol, diesel, these when burn they release the energy. As you know, uh, when we have to cook the food, we need the heat energy. So, you can say that by burning this gas, we get the heat energy by which we can produce, we can cook our food. Even the coal, coal is also burned. In some places, people, they, they burn the coal and the heat is produced by which they can cook their food, right? Also, they can warm in the winters, they can warm themselves by burning the coal, right? And petrol is also used, you know, our vehicles run by the petrol or diesel. So, this is also very important. The petrol when burned, it produces energy by which our vehicles run. Also, the machines in the industries and factories, they run with the help of petrol and diesel. Okay. So, you can say that the energy that we get from the fuel is also very important for us. And you can say fuel is a important source of energy right now i will give a quick recap for this lesson right so first of all what is a force a push or pull that acts on the object is called the force right see a push or pull that acts on an object is called the force and force have many effects on the object like force can stop a moving object, force can change the direction of moving object and force can change the shape of the object. As you see in the picture, force can move the object, can stop the object. Here, force can change the direction of the object. Here, force, here also force can change the direction. When you play the badminton, the shuttlecock, changes its direction when you hit it with force right see here you can see that force can change the shape of the object when you apply force on the object it can also change the shape here is another example okay when when we make a chapati or roti okay from a dough it, it flattens okay we can roll it uh, we can roll it and we can flat, make it a flatten so that we can have a chapati. Okay. This shows that force can uh, change the shape of the object. Now there are different kinds of forces in this uh, in which we have discussed about the force of friction and force of gravity. See. When you run a car on a smooth surface, it will go a longer distance as compared to the to the rough surface why because some force is acting on it which stops the motion of the of the car so that is called the force of friction force of friction is less on smooth surface and it is more on the rough surface okay it also help us to walk right see here help us in walking and running even our shoes have grooves which helps to create the friction so that we do not slip on the ground, okay. And also the vehicles have the, vehicles have the tires, the tires have the grooves, okay. The tires of the vehicles have the grooves which create the friction with the road and helps them to run smoothly, okay. It balances the, the vehicle, right. See here vehicle of a side uh, tire of a cycle okay when you apply the apply the uh, brake it creates friction and it stops the it stops the 
movement so it helps in stopping the movement otherwise accidents will be will be uh, happen, will be happening right fine see here here the friction we when we play carom we do not need more friction okay because the surface should be should be smooth okay then only your coins will will be will be earned so to to lessen the friction we put some talcum powder okay so here so that we can make the surface smooth by applying the powder okay so it it reduces the friction right it becomes the it makes the surface smooth and smooth surface have less friction right now this is the force of gravity it it tells us that whatever things we throw from the distance from the height okay it falls down and it falls down because of the force of gravity the gravity is the force that attracts any object anything to fall down okay that is from the earth and it falls on the earth so as you can say uh, as you can see the ball thrown up in the air falls down on the ground this is because of the force of gravity look here force of gravity also creates beautiful waterfalls the water is also attracted downwards towards the earth and it falls down okay because of force of gravity see here okay the force of gravity pulls you down when you jump the girl is enjoying the jumping on the trampoline right this is force of gravity see the the a uh, weight lifter is applying force because the because the object is attracted downwards okay it is pulling it down so the weight lifter has to has to put more force to pull it up right fine now what is work okay when the force is applied to any object to make it move you can say that work is done right and more work is done when when you apply more force okay and less work is done when you apply less force for example when you slide a book less work is done because little force is is required and but when you slide the table as the table is heavy more force is used okay so you can say more work is done right so This this is how the work is done. Now, you know to make our work easy, there are certain machines. Okay, simple machines they are called, and that we use in our daily life, right? So, the examples of simple machine are lever, pulley, wheel, and axle, inclined plane, screw, and wedge. Okay, these we are using in our daily life to make our work easy. These are the simple tools. Okay, see here. Example of lever is scissors, stapler. Okay, these we use in cutting. Okay, cutting the things, even opening the lids. See here, here for uh, lifting the weight, we are using the lever. Right? See here for opening the lids. a lid openers okay again here for cutting also we are using the lever right another type is pulley pulley is a wheel on which a rope is rope is there which helps to get the water from the well easily as you can see in this picture in the crane also we make use of pulley right another is wheel and axle it consists of a circular object and a rod is in the center okay and this is called wheel and axle and this is used here see here okay to make the movement simple and easy okay another is inclined plane inclined plane means the it has a slope okay you can say the surface is slopey or sloping which helps to lift the loads easily this we have seen in even in the uh, sh uh, shopping malls right to uh, to uh, to move our trolley which is loaded with our things the when we 
move it uh, through the inclined plane it becomes easy for us to move it right as you can also see in the picture and it is also used as a slides okay where you can play and enjoy in the park right so this is where inclined plane is used another is screw screw is a nail like machine which has got a grooves around it right and it helps to hold the things together okay so you can also say that screw is a, a inclined plane but it is it is it is a, uh, it is a, with the grooves around it okay see here another one is the wedge okay it consists of a sharp edge which is made with the help of two two inclined planes which are back to back okay as you can see and so that it creates a sharp edge and this can be used to cut the things see here okay here the wedge is used to cut the log of the wood okay so see here these are the another examples of wedge here is the knife and here is the axe okay which helps us to cut the things okay fine now what is energy to do all the work we need energy as you know energy is the ability to do work right uh, but there are different forms of energy you know see here this is the heat energy very useful okay for heating and this heat energy can be used for cooking also okay and this can be also used also created by burning the fuels okay like wood gas petrol we get the heat energy right see here used in cooking food okay or boiling water or cooking food you know without heat energy we are not able to cook any food right see here heat energy is also used in running the trains okay for also warming up when it is very cold in winter we burn the coal or we burn the wood so that heat can be produced to warm up right see here. now this is the light energy light energy we also get from the sun in the daytime we get this the light energy from the sun we also get light energy from the fire from the bulb when we use electricity we get the light energy right hmm? when the bulb glows see here light energy is also useful by for the plants okay the light energy from the sun is useful for the plants to make its food as you know very well in the process of photosynthesis right see here is the light energy from the sun yes when the sun sets we have to put on the when it becomes dark we have to use the electrical energy to to uh, produce light okay but in the daytime we get it from the sun here is the electrical energy okay just now only i told so electrical energy is the energy we get from the electrical charges and this is widely used in our daily life okay see for to run the engine also electrical energy is used okay to running the trains engines of the trains here electrical energy is used to run various applications in our daily life okay as you can see tv fridge computer everything runs with the help of electrical energy right see here your toys okay vehicles also nowadays run with the help of of electrical energy these are some of the toys which you which you run with the help of electrical energy now some of the main sources of energy sun wind and water fuels these are the main sources of energy see sun gives us heat and light energy if we can heat up means the earth can heat up and light also can be used plants also use this light energy from the sun to produce food okay energy from the air means with the help of windmills we produce energy okay when the wind is blowing 
so it help us to generate electricity it also help us help us to sail small ships okay then also the paraglides use wind energy to fly in the sky right as you can see in the picture here we get energy from the water when the water is made to fall when where there are the rivers are have too much of water okay, abundant of water is there there the dams are built so that the they can produce the water falling if we make it to fall on the machine it generates electricity and that electricity can be used so you can say that water is also useful for generating electricity right now energy from the fuel and when we burn the fuel like oil gas petrol wood okay these we get the energy from the fuel so these are the fuels which are widely used to produce the energy they are the used to run the vehicles to heat homes also to cook right so i hope you have understood this lesson i take your leave take care thank you